we're getting another view of how disruptive this engagement and this uh, strategic uh, arrest of 10 protesters has been going in University City. Our Catherine Scott is out there, and Catherine, we know there are a number of barricades up. You may have people who can't get where they're, they're going. Some, it's a spectacle coming out to be spectators. Some in support of the protesters. A lot seems to be going on around you. There's certainly a lot going on in this area. We were at CHOP earlier for a different story, and you could see the helicopters in the air. There were people walking by us while we were at CHOP, and they were saying, what is going on over there? And then we told them, and that's apparent if you're in this neighborhood, because there are so many surrounding streets that are closed, so it's difficult for people to get where they need to go. Now, we're standing um, at 34th and Walnut, and if you look through that path, that is where the encampment uh, is being taken down right now. And you can see there's a large police presence in this area. Uh, they have gates and fencing set up around this area and a number of uh, police officers here. There are police vehicles lining the roadways here. What we've been seeing uh, where we're standing is that when the people who are arrested get put taken into the police vans and are getting driven out this way, uh, there are a lot of people here who are in support of those protesters. So when the vans are coming through, uh, they will sound support. And it looks like one might be coming right now. You can see police moving people out of the way so this transport van can come through. So as people are being arrested, uh, they're being placed in vans and then they're being t uh, taken away uh, from this area. And you can see that they're moving different wagons in. So we have to continue to move out of the way here. Uh, but there are a lot of people here who are in sympathy with the protesters and the encampment that is being disbanded right now. And of course, Corey Davis has been giving us a look at what is going on inside. But as you can see in this area, uh, this is spilling out into the surrounding area. We're at 34th and Walnut right now, and there are just so many police vans just lining Walnut. More are going in right now. There's concern about people getting hurt. So you can see Philadelphia police trying to move people out of the way. And you hear people chanting. And it looks like right now people are pressing up against this police van right here. It's hard to actually see what's happening. I want to stay back a little bit, but um, you can see that there are people pressed up against this police van. It appears that they are not moving. Uh, Philadelphia police are trying to move more vans in. And this isn't even in the first-hand encampment, which is right down the street from here. But chance of free Palestine happening right now. It looks like they were able to eventually move that police lining up so they're able to let this other transport van through without anybody getting hurt. Uh, but clearly, this is a heightened presence here. A um, lot of tension in this area as this is going on right now. Um, from the sounds of it, there has not been very much conflict inside, but clearly emotions are high here as this is going on. Uh, meanwhile, as I mentioned before, this entire area is closed down. So if you're coming to this area to get to work, to get to school, expect delays. There are a lot of surrounding area closed right now. Catherine, these, uh, as these transport these vans are... are going in, you can see people are linking arms over there, lining up, now getting pressed back. It looks like the protest is moving out here. Now, of course, Governor Shapiro saying yesterday that this has gone on long enough, that this encampment should be disbanded by the university. And, you know, he was talking about how to disbanding this encampment, restoring order and safety to the campus. The governor calling the situation here at Penn unstable and unacceptable. So Philadelphia police began arriving to Penn's campus early this morning. Catherine, I know it's they gave really people a warning loud that there. they would have to disband. And, and probably some hard people had left, to hear us. but uh, clearly they, others they, refused to go. And some still remain. But right. here at 34th and Walnut, which is not where the encampment is, it's nearby. 
um, it looks like that there are more people out here who are not going to be moving. So we're seeing Clearly part she two. <laughs> she can't hear us. We're seeing part two. They've disbanded the protest, arrested some of the people who were there. But now we see people gathering to chant and stand there and create a different protest. Yeah, and Let what I was going to ask Catherine is it looks like they were trying to prevent police vans that they believed had mm -hmm. people in inside were under arrest from leaving the scene but they were able to get through the blockade, I guess, that they had set up. So we can see the scene continue to evolve. Let's go on over to Corey Davis, who's also live there at the scene. Good morning, Corey. Hey, good morning. So we've got in a new position here. You can see officers now going through the last bit of the encampment, checking every tent. They have now since taken all of the protesters into custody, those protesters who were at the base of the Ben Franklin statue defying orders to leave. So all of those protesters uh, have now been taken into custody. Now officers going through those individual tents, checking inside just to be sure no one's in there uh, as they now reach the end of the encampment that has basically tripled in size over the last 15 days since they first received orders to disband and to leave this area of the College Green of Penn's campus. So uh, the police commissioner, Kevin Bethel, has since left. I did uh, try to ask if he wanted to say anything. We're told, or he declined that offer. And I've been told that uh, Penn is uh, going to be leading this whole thing as far as speaking with us later. So we've been reaching out to Penn, uh, trying to get to an idea of when they will be uh, speaking with us, giving us some information on how, uh, what they've discovered, if they have discovered anything. But one takeaway from this is that uh, we did not see any indications of violence uh, when it comes to uh, physical altercations like we saw on other college campuses across the country. So this place out differently than several places where pro-Palestinian pro protests have been taking place over the last uh, several weeks or so. So right now the police are exiting, they're leaving the encampment at the moment after they have spent the last couple of hours going through phase by phase taking protesters into custody. Those protesters who told us, quote, that they would stay here and escalate. And when it comes to escalate, we didn't see any physical altercations, any violence. Uh, at least we didn't see that. And we we were watching the whole thing. Uh, so overall, though, police remained calm. The protesters were chanting, but they appeared to be calm as well, originally telling me that they had a plan if this were to happen. So that's how this all unfolded over the last couple of hours. The encampment now cleared of protesters. The, the tents that have been in place are now all that remain. Corey. Reporting live here in University City, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News. Thanks so much, Corey. So much is happening. Yes. We've showed you it all, and we will continue to provide coverage because things are still happening. You have to switch over to 6ABC Streaming. We will have the latest live reports from the Penn campus 